it's cozy season time, hence the cardigan I made for myself, because it's just cold. It, it's pretty cold. Not super cold, but I, I want my cardigan. And I'm going to do the end of the year book tag, which is, I guess, something you do when you're going into the end of the year. So I'll do that now. <laughs> I would have thought you'd do that like in December, but that's not how it worked. And it looked quick and nice and easy. And after the migraine filled week I had last week, this is this is what I need. So let's get into it. We have, are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? I am a big completionist. It's very rare that I am picking up a book and just putting it down and not thinking about it for months. I did that a bit more in late high school, early college, but ever since I've gotten back into reading again, if I pick up a book, I'm either DNFing it or I'm completing it. But I did start the Binti bind up. And I finished Binti and the short story, but I haven't read Binti Home and the third novella in that bind up. And I would like to finish that by the end of the year. So I guess that counts. <laughs> Although technically, you know, they're three individual stories, not one whole one, but that's the closest answer I have to this question. Number two, do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? So I do have a few. I feel like my definition of autumnal is like a little different than other people's, but I do like 90s fantasy with the um, more descriptive prose. So I have a Wheel of Time book, I have a new Robin Hobb book, so I have, um, it's it's way up there with my library books, but I have Ship of Magic I want to start. I have, um, is it called Shadow Rising? It's Wheel of Time 4. I have that on my Kindle. And I already read the third Rich Witcher book, uh, Baptism of Fire. So those are very autumnal to me. And I also really associate the Stormlight Archives with um, fall, mainly because I keep rereading it in the fall because the new books almost always come out in November. So come like September and August, I am picking them up and rereading in earnest. Although eventually, <laughs> if I keep rereading them all before each release, I'll have to keep starting earlier and earlier. But for now, it feels kind of autumnal. So I guess epic fantasy books, that's, that's what I think of and that's what I've been reading. But also, young adult works really well for me in the fall, like especially with like tropes, like dark prince tropes and fairy tale retellings. Like we, I just read Incendiary and that really scratched an itch for me. Um, so sometimes that works well too. And so I did already read that. So yeah, and currently I am reading Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse, and this, I mean, I think the first chapter is in fall. I kind of, I think I'm more in winter scenes because the winter solstice is happening, but this is definitely good for me going from fall into winter, so that's really cool. Is there a new release you're still waiting for? Okay, guys, you know this answer. I'm waiting for Don Shard and Rhythm of War. Nothing else matters. <laughs> Um, but honestly, those are the ones I'm most excited for. Most of November, I will be reading both of those. Um, Don Shard, if you don't know, is going to be a novella in between uh, Oathbringer and Rhythm of War. It follows one of my favorite interlude characters, the traitor. But I do think he said it clocks in at like 300 some pages. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's more of a novel. But for Stormlight, I guess it's short. And Rhythm of War, I've already heard so many crazy things about the beginning. And I'm really excited, but I hope it has more the pacing of Words of Radiance. Not because I mind the pacing of Oathbringer, although it's much slower and more... Uh, it has just a lot more quiet developing moments sort of thing. Still epic reveals and things like that. But I would feel better if like we didn't always have Oathbringer paced books going forward, if that makes sense. Like I feel like the fifth book's going to be insane. And I, I'm really nervous about the ending of the fourth going into the fifth because we're going to have to wait three to four years for the fifth book. But... Here I am. It, it'll be fine. Um, but otherwise, I'm probably not going to read it this year unless I have time, but Burning God is coming out, and that's the third book in the Poppy War trilogy, so that's on my radar, and I'm interested. The only other one I was really excited for is Black Sun. That's already in my hand, so... What are three books you want to read before the end of the year? I have a few. Um, well, everything you've already heard, <laughs> I want to finish, but I'd like to read Jade War... By Fonda Lee. Ah, I read Jay City earlier. Maybe, I think this month. I Yes, in October. It was so good. So I, I really want to read Jade War by Fonda Lee because I hear it's amazing. Um, also up there, I have my other library book. I want to read Shorefall because I read Foundryside earlier in August. So I want to read Shorefall before the end of the year. That was like the whole point. 
and I also want to read the last book in the Machinery's Empire series, Revenant Gun. Yeah, I really want to finish this series out as well. I also have a series TBR that I do seasonally, so I have my fall series TBR, and that takes me through, you know, December 21st, so those are the series I want to focus on um, through the fall, and then I make one for winter. I say that as if I've done this before. This will be the first year I make that, but <laughs> yeah, so those are some series I want to read and finish off because they excite me. Is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? Currently my favorite book of the year is The Sword of Kaigan and I have a review for it. I think it's a useful review, but it is still a gush review. And I don't know. If Rhythm of War has the pacing of Words of Radiance and it has those moments that destroyed me in Words of Radiance, it could. It could definitely beat it. But otherwise, I don't know. I mean, if Rhythm of War is more like Way of Kings or Oathbringer, it's going to be great. I'm going to be very excited and happy, but it's not going to beat Sword of Kaigan. Sword of Kaigan was just a roller coaster. But Rhythm of War could do it. It has the potential. I mean, Words of Radiance is my top five books. I don't have that list put together. Eventually, I'm too scared of it. But <laughs> yeah, so that's the last book coming out this year that could happen. I'm also not like that into the new releases that are coming out. Like I try, but I also have like a backlog. So, you know, the struggle, too many books. Have you already started making reading plans for 2020? Sort of. Um, I do know I'm going to participate in a few book clubs and they have already picked out those books. So I know those like three books will be on my TBR ones. Rage of Dragons. One is the author who wrote Docile, but he has a different book that I'm going to read. And then I wanted to be a part of the book club for We Hunt the Flames, but I've already read that one. Although I will read its sequel. Yeah, I'm going to continue series that I've started. That's, that's what I do. I like continuing and finishing series that I've started. So that's like my only big plan. I might, might try and see what this whole net galley thing's about and maybe start dipping my toes into acquiring arcs, which if you don't know are advanced reader copies. But I'm really terrified of that. <laughs> There's so many books that are published that I haven't read and I don't want to accidentally get overwhelmed with that side of things. But that's something I might try and I have been wanting to and have not yet read a book in Spanish this year. It was like my one goal of the year and I haven't done it yet. And I would really like to pick up a middle grade or young adult in Spanish and read it next year. So it's like a goal more than a plan, but that's all I've done. I mean, reading is very much, I put in holds at the library and I read what comes in. That That's just what I do. So that's the end of the year book tag. And yeah, um, if you've done the tag, let me know and I'll go watch yours. If you have any plans that you want to share with me, feel free to comment down below. Are you just as hyped for Rhythm of War? How soon should I read Jade War? I know if you're Lena, you're telling me to read it right now. <laughs> but yeah, otherwise, um, you can leave an emoji down below of like a celebratory emoji, like, you know, New Year's. I know it's not New Year's, but sure, you know, this can be like the birthday emojis or whatever. Otherwise, like, if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.